Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with the brand new 2019 Panini National Treasures Baseball Random Team Break number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Now remember, there was an early bird special. If you're one of the first 16 spots purchased, you have a shot at an extra spot, a bonus spot, the worm, if you will. So big thanks to all of these folks right here, first 16 spots taken. And let's see who gets the worm. Thanks, early birds. After eight times, four and a four, eight the hard way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Good luck. It's Chris, Chris to heart. Didn't you win money earlier too, Chris? Go buy a lottery ticket. There you go, man. Congrats to you. You are the early bird. You've caught the worm. An extra spot for you. So that now makes 30 total spots. So now let's get your names in here. And all teams are in. Let's roll it and randomize it. Another eight times. Four and a four, eight the hard way again. Should we go, go to Vegas, play, play hard eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. After eight, we've got Bruce all the way down to Chad. Now let's go to sheet one right here, and then we can put those names here. All right, there you go. Four and a four, eight the hard way for the teams. One, two, four. Five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Good luck. After eight times, Brewers, the Brew Crew, down to the Snakes, the Diamondbacks. All right, Bruce with the Brewers. Josh Givner, Pirates. Dennis with the O's. Roger with the Angels. Sean, you got my Dodgers. James with the Mets. Roger with the Nats. Kenton with the Blue Jays. Chris with the Twins, Robert with the Red Sox, TJ Poyer with the Yankees, Steve Locke with the Cubs, TJP with the A's, Daniel, Last Bond Mojo, Braves, Roger, Mariners, and Rays, Boombox with the Indians, Matt Gomes, you got the Phillies, Sean with the Marlins, and Chris with your early bird spot, that's a pretty good team, the White Sox, Andy with the Padres, Vinny with the Royals, Roger with the Reds, Colton with the Cardinals, Brian with the Rangers, Roy with the Giants, Mark with the Astros, Sean with the Tigers, TJ with the Rockies, and Chad B with the Diamondbacks. Now, feel free to trade if you'd like. Let's alphabetize this by team name. And obviously, this is a full case, fresh case. Right there. We'll give it a couple moments. Coming up after this will be um, another case of this, but the random number block break two. And then we'll do a quick uh, number block randomizer for uh, collegiate flawless, flawless collegiate. And then um, we'll go through some orders and we'll see what people want to do after that. We see about seven orders coming in. We've got Dodgers, Tigers, Marlins up for trade. Red Sox up for trade as well. Maybe Bobby and uh, Sean will, will make a deal. off the table here really quick. All right, we got Pirates up for trade as well. Here's the, I should have dropped this a little bit earlier. Here's the checklist, everybody. Now remember, trade at your own risk. A lot of these teams could have like some old school guys kind of hidden away in there. Cut autos are hidden away in there. So a lot of great stuff.
All right, looks like a lot of trade offers out there, but no trades being done. Maybe it's time to close up the trade window. All right, so Bobby's going to keep the Red Sox. All right, well, trade window going once. Trade window going twice. All right, TWC, trade window closed. Let's get a move on. Let's print, let's rip. Good luck, everybody. Random number block coming up after this. And then I don't think anything sold out after that, so visit jazbeescasebreaks.com. And let's try to do something else. Illusions, it's a new release. NT Baseball, brand new release. So a lot of fun stuff happening tonight, folks. A lot of new releases. And, and we got an old release. Collegiate football, 2000, well, this year's collegiate football. Flawless collegiate football. I think it's pretty close to filling, too. That's our last box, I think. A flawless? Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Or is it, did we do the first half? I forget. It's eight, it's eight, 17. Oh, uh, so there's one. No. Last case, then. No, it's 18. It's the last oh, box. It's the last box ever. Yeah, last box ever. And there's only three teams left in that collegiate football. And that's like a five-minute break, five, ten-minute break. So and then we can dive right into it. Yes, and while we have Nick Jaspi here, we should do Illusions football, which is only two away, so he can it's help. It's about a 40-minute break with no packs. So he can help make that go a little bit more quickly. 30 minutes. And then we can just do NT the rest of the night, maybe squeeze in a couple more Illusions. Plenty of time for all of that. All right, and you can see on your top screen right there Nick's going to put each of those stacks there, and then we'll place them on here, and we'll go through all of those. Continue saving a bit of time so we can squeeze in as many breaks as possible today. Michael Brantley, 21 out of 99, Astros edition. What a pickup for them. A healthy Michael Brantley. Nobody wanted him. I don't know. Nobody wanted Michael Brantley. That goes to the Strohs. Here's the final printout as well. Krista Hart won the early bird spot. You see that? He got the break credit and illusions. Yeah. And he got the early bird spot here. I told him to go buy a lottery ticket. All right. Good luck, everybody. Rafael Devers is next. 19 out of 99. I see you, Kelly. That goes to Robert. And the Red Sox. Bobby and the Bo Sox. We've got Paul Molitor. 51 out of 99. Got the bit of the Brewers pinstripe there. That goes to Bruce and the Brew Crew. Nick Jaspi, what's the one team that has, in their regular home and away uniforms, What's the one team that has never had pinstripes? In baseball? In baseball. In their entire history. Not their alternates, not their third uniforms. Give me AL or NL. AL. As part of their regular jerseys. Never had pinstripes. There's Joe Cronin for the Red Sox. 23 out of 25. It's for Bobby and the Bo Sox. I think that's tried to trade, Angels. couldn't trade Mojo. No? Remember the Jim Edmonds years they had pinstripes? With the sleeves? Oh, yeah, the 
The blue, dark blue. Mm-hmm. The A. Flying A. The flying A. Um, 25 out of 25, Fran Valdez. Not Red Sox. A's have had pinstripes. It's not Red Sox. It's not Rays. I think 70s A's maybe had pinstripes. It's not Tampa Bay Rays. The Rays have had pinstripes. It's not the Orioles. Orioles have had pinstripes. I don't remember the Orioles pinstripes, but I know they have. Caleb Ferguson, two-color patch and autograph. Injuries kind of derailed his season this year. But it's not the Blue Jays. Sean Corbett with my Dodgers. Royals? I think Big Rig, Big Rig should know. Stephen K has got it too. Royals. Yeah, it's the Kansas City Royals. Since they're ex- since they started in nineteen sixty something in all of baseball, in all of baseball, they're the only uh-huh. team that's never worn and had pinstripes on their regular home or road. They may have had an alternate jersey or a third. They, they have pinstripes. They have pinstripes right now, I think. The Nationals do. I think so. Are you sure? Yeah. Maybe not now, but they have had it. Look it up. Luis Reyes. One out of 25, as part of their home or road jersey, not like a third jersey or like a promo jersey or an alternate jersey or like on every, on first Sundays we wear this jersey. I don't think the Nationals have ever had pinstripes. That goes to the Twins. That's going to be for Chris DeHart. There's Eloy Jimenez. Look at that. Buy a lottery ticket, Chris. His early bird spot gets him... Uh, randomize the White Sox so he gets the worm gets randomized the White Sox and gets one of the bigger rookies in this year's set there you go Sean's got it as Expos oh well that doesn't count of course it does no, we send Expos teams. cards to the Nationals no you said what team <laughs> and I also said AL <laughs> right but there's you said all of MLB I would have said Nationals if you said NL. The Nationals and Expos they are the same count. team. They're the no, same they team. Count. They they count in group breaks. That's different. <laughs> um, there you go, Chris. Six pack material signatures. Kyle, T- I thought the Nationals had pinstripes. I don't think they ever had. They had those really ugly ones. There's Kyle Tucker, six swatch signature and the signature. Boombox with that one. 53 out of 99. <laughs> All right, next one. Nashville never had pinstripes. All right, Marcel Ozuna, 12 out of 25, Colossal Relic for the Cardinals. Colton with the Cardinals. We got Garrett Cole, 52 out of 99. Man, the Astros are going to be tough in the playoffs, aren't they? We got Dave Winfield, 22 out of 99. Hall of Fame materials. Now, he went in as a Padre. That'll be for Andy. There's Eddie Sawyer, 15 out of 25, retro material, Philadelphia Phillies. When did uh, when did the A's leave Philadelphia? Maybe late 40s, I guess. Right, he was the manager of the Whiz Kids. The old Phillies Whiz Kids. That'll be for Matt Gomes with that one. I remember watching old, old Eddie Sawyer 
walk up and down that dugout, managing those kids to victory. We got rookie signatures, Luis Urias for the Friars, Andy with the Padres. Watching them all, the old eight inch black and white, RCA. Those are the days. That's when TV was TV, ladies and gentlemen. There is Kevin Maitan. Still Braves edition here. It's 99. He hasn't been a Brave for a little bit. Daniel, last spot mojo. Oh, Brian Peebles, do not watch this break. Don't watch this break. It'll be better that way. Yeah, that's when TV was radio. Good old radio. Remember the old tube radios that were about, about as tall as me? 42 out of 99, triple relic and autograph Ramon Laureano. Yep, just listening to the old radio, the old big RCA tubes in the back. My mom would be knitting, my dad would be having an old fashioned, and I'd be listening to, to the old ball game, listening to Eddie Sawyer manage the Whiz Kids. We've got Vlad Guerrero Jr. Nice. Six out of ten. Triple relic and autograph. Kenton with the Blue Jays. Got randomized the Blue Jays. One of the big rookies there. The book is one of one. I remember watching old Carl Ferrillo through through a knot in the wood at Ebbets. That's pretty awesome. Dual relic, old piece of his jersey and a piece of his lumber. That's pretty cool. Game used material. Little Dodger Joe Mojo, Sean Corbett, getting randomized the Dodgers. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Remember watching old Carl Ferrillo. Those 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 were the days. And they won the World Series in 58. And then they left for Los Angeles and I was broken hearted. I was like, that's it, that's it for baseball in New York. Went from, having, went from being baseball capital of the world. You got the Bronx Bombers. You got, you got the Giants playing in New York. You had the Dodgers in Brooklyn. And the, both of those teams left. Enyo De Los Santos, you got a piece of the baseball and the stitching right there too. 9925 Decon says my three-year-old just train whistled with with me. He watches this show too much. Hey, it's it's better than I don't know. I, I was gonna say it's better than I guess your three-year-old. Better than watching like Walking Dead, but then I was like three-year-old probably doesn't watch Walking Dead. Nathaniel Lowe, 24 out of 25. Six swatches on that one for the Tampa Bay Rays. TV Rays going to Roger. Right, Stephen K., that's it. Those are the days. Sitting out there polishing my Red Rider BB gun that my mom took away because I might shoot my eye out. There's Eloy Jimenez, 45 out of 99. Yeah, way better than Baby Shark. That's right, Decons. It's another one for Chris DeHart and the White Sox. All right, so then I just ride my bike, Stephen K, all the way down to the, the Five and Dime, the drugstore where I'd get a soda. Nice cream float, maybe. Ronald Acuna Jr., 23 out of 25. And then Battle It in the Barons. Those were the days. Ronald Acuna Jr., Braves. Little battery powered transistor radio, listening to the latest hits by Buddy Holly. Acuna Jr. for Daniel. We've got Tony Lazeri, old Yankee, 23 out of 49. Remember watching him too, TJ Poyer. 
for the Yankees. We've got three color patch and autograph. Carter Keboom. Keboom. For Roger and the Nats. Got randomized the Nationals. Nationals have a pretty good young core coming up the ranks, right? Victor Robles, Carter Keboom, Trey Turner, Juan Soto. Got another heavy card stock. It's Dakota Hudson. Three color, triple relic, and auto. 46 out of 49. Cardinals. Colton with the Cardinals. Cardinals could be sneaky good in the playoffs, right? They've got the pitching. They've got some hitting. Got veteran experience at catcher. Got a, lot, a lot of pieces I could add up. We've got... 16 out of 25, that is Jason Giambi. Nice, 16 out of 25. Thanks, Stephen K. I think I've aged pretty well since, since the days when I was running around the streets of Maine and New York and Brooklyn, <laughs> all the other places that I, that I was at. Game used material in there, too. That goes to TJ Poyer and the A's. Now, one more in the book. We've got Joe Adele. Nice. 76 out of 99. Social signatures. I think he's supposed to put his social media account there. That goes to Roger and the Angels. This is a big prospect for the Angels, too. They might be playing side by side right next to Mike Trout. And we have cut signatures, old Fergie Jenkins, 1 out of 10. 284 career wins for old Fergie Jenkins. Wait, cut auto, is he not with us? No, he's still with us, isn't he? Usually they reserve, no, he's still with us. He's 76 years old. He looks, he looks good. Anyway, that still goes to the Cubs, of course. That's a nice one. Steve Locke. So he couldn't couldn't get his actual auto, so they just got a got a cut auto. All right. And the next one here. Last one. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, boys and girls. Kelly, I am between 12 and 85 years old. It's Corbin Burns to 99 for the Brew Crew. Bruce randomized the Brewers. We've got David Wright, 41. I, if that back wasn't an issue, I feel like David Wright, Hall of Famer, right? Knock on wood if you're with me. stuck in there now. Anyway, David Wright jersey going to James Connell and the Mets. We got Bo Bichette. 61 out of 99. Paul Hutchins agrees. David Wright, if those back issues weren't around. Hall of Famer. Bo Bichette goes to Kenton. Bo Bichette sounds like a Star Wars character. Tommy Heinrich, 6 out of 49. Yankees. Yeah, old reliable. Old reliable, that's what you would hear on the radio. There's old reliable. We got Reese McGuire, 30 out of 49. Two-color triple relic for Kenton and the Bluebirds.
we have Yandi Diaz, four out of 99, two color patch and black ink autograph. And that'll be for the tribe, boombox with the Indians. <laughs> right, Bubba Fett in a Blue Jays uniform. I'll bet that's happened on a Toronto Blue Jay Star Wars night. There's Tuki Toussaint. Nice two color patch and autograph. 23 out of 99. Is that a throwback uniform? Kind of a, sort of a cream color jersey. And like black lettering. He gets those walks under control. Daniel, last spot mojo. And wow, Jose Abreu, five out of five for the early bird who caught the worm, Chris DeHart. Five out of five. Chris, buy a lottery ticket. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! And the book, ooh, is gonna be one happy per, no, one happy person. Mickey Mantle, The Mick, and Roger Maris. One out of 25. Nice pinstripe jersey there. And a piece of Roger Maris's lumber. Man, you guys remember watching Roger Maris? About to break Babe Ruth's single season home run record and how much crap he got. I remember it like it was yesterday. Both of these go to the Yankees. TJ Poyer with the Bronx Bombers. And there you go. Thanks everyone for watching. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was Random Team 2, uh, Random Number Block coming up next. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Jazbeescasebreaks.com.